Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. Endures all things. Love never fails. 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 We met in college. Uh, I was raised Protestant, uh, as was Kelly. After graduating from college, we got married. During this time, we sort of spent some time thinking about our faith and what we believed in. And I think my exposure to Catholics and pro-life activities ultimately led me to believe I needed to join the Catholic faith. I was pretty on board with the teachings of church and teachings on marriage and being open to life and you know having a large family. We have six children. Life is crazy, but it's very joyous as well. For my freshman year, I showed up to St. Paul's the first time. I was a little intimidated. It's just a lot of people. Rip your flaws. <laughs> We're very sticky and it was hot and yeah, I was very overwhelmed, but I just kept showing up to Mass, and then I started going to candlelight Mass on Wednesdays and joining a Bible study. Then I just kind of <laughs> joined everything from there. So, yeah, now I live at St. Paul's. <laughs> I've been involved in several different organizations in the Madison Diocese. I've done Love Begins Here two summers. I've been on the planning team for three years for Facade Fest planning. For Facade Fest last year I was the MC. That was a really cool experience because I got to speak in front of over 500 people. When my parents signed me up for Love Begins Here and brought the idea up to me, I kind of didn't know what it was at first. And once they explained that you do service and stuff, I thought it was just gonna be all service. But I liked that they incorporated the fun in it and it was just a mix and it was perfect. The first day we went to a elderly lady's house and we chopped her bushes, we raked her leaves and we pulled her weeds. And it just felt really nice to do something good for somebody who couldn't. The second day we went to a nursing home and we played games with them, we ate lunch with them and we just talked to them, we connected with them. I've been going to Camp Gray for as long as I can remember. Every year, I'm just amazed by the amount of people I meet, by how much I grow in loving God and serving my neighbor. Without that, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be who I want to be. And I don't think I would be on the path to sainthood. Some advantages of going to Catholic school are we get a better education. We're actually a year ahead. The classes are smaller. All the teachers know my name, and all the little kids know my name. It's like a family. It's like I've had a few of them as buddies. All their friends come up to me. I get a lot of hugs a day. So when you're crossing at the lunch and they're coming out, you definitely get some hugs. I think it is important uh, to support our diocese uh, in addition to our parishes. I mean, I think clearly, you know, we've benefited from whether it's Seat of Wisdom classes or Camp Gray that our kids benefit from. More broadly, we're part of a church. We're part of this, this diocese that includes people from all kinds of backgrounds and all kinds of life situations. And it's important to take part in that and to support that. In my first year here as Bishop of Madison, I have been so moved by the hospitality, the faith, uh, the kindness and the love of our people. I thank you for your past generosity to the ACA because that gift of treasure and the gift of your faith fuels the mission of the church to continue to flourish. For all of that, I am grateful, and it's based on that gratitude that I ask with both joy and confidence that you will join me in being generous to the ACA uh, this year that we may continue to build on the great work that Christ has done in our diocese all of these years. Every bishop is asked to have an Episcopal motto, which comes from scripture. Mine is caritas numquam excedit, which means love never fails. Love never fails to me means that Christ's love for us uh, is never exhausted. Uh, despite my failings, uh, despite other problems and issues, uh, Christ's love for us is never exhausted. I just think of the Eucharist when I hear love never fails because, I mean, God is love, so Christ is love. It's always there. The Eucharist never fails us. I fail so much in, 
in my duties as, as a mom and a teacher to my children. For me, it's just a comfort to know that I don't have to do it on my own. I don't have to do this on my own. I just can rely on God's love and He will provide. Love is inventive to infinity. That's a quote from St. Vincent de Paul. That means that love won't stop. Love will do whatever it takes to get you to where you need to be. So love doesn't fail. In the end, love is the one thing that remains. We no longer need faith or hope in heaven because all of our beliefs and hopes are realized. So in love, we see the totality of who God is and who we are called to be. You know, the mission of Christ was really to come to earth and to love us into heaven. And when we love, we are like Christ and we lead others to discover and experience the power of Jesus' love for us. As Christians, we know that God's love always triumphs in the end. Love never fails. Love never fails. Love never fails. Love never fails. Love never fails.